This won't add. Shame on you all. In July, the Central Bucks School Board passed a policy on how to handle books in school libraries when people from the community object to them. In May, students protested outside Lenape Middle School after a teacher who supported an LGBTQ plus student was placed on leave. The district says it wasn't the support that required investigation, but rather if that teacher violated policy. Also in May, I've been bullied. I've been, I've had people yell in my face. There's a large group of LGBTQ plus students in my school and most times feel unsafe. Students complained to the school board. They felt they'd been targeted by the school community due to their LGBTQ plus status. This is a, an ongoing uh, existing problem that has been there for many years and it's, but now what's been happening is the school board in particular and the administration, they're now taking these kind of openly hostile actions. Rich Ting is a Pennsylvania ACLU attorney and says the district is aware of student complaints. He says rather than address them, its actions have made the environment worse for those students. And they've also done a lot of things that are in, intimidating the teachers and, and, you know, scaring teachers from speaking out or scaring them from openly supporting LGBTQ kids. And recently, teachers in the district spoke out about a policy on when students' preferred names should be used by teachers, saying assigned names at birth should be used unless parents' permission dictates otherwise. Ting says these are just some of the examples listed in the ACLU administrative action, a filing that's not public and one the district says it won't talk about. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.